Hi, I'm Wande and I usually make videos about fashion, beauty and lifestyle. I've been requested to show how I manage my finances in a way that have afforded me to buy a house, open a salon and go on multiple long haul trips in a year. Now, I don't have any fantastically special job. Um, I don't do social media full time or have this background or history of money in my family. I've done everything from the ground up. May I add, I'm not in any debt and I haven't used credit cards to afford these things or live this Instagram lifestyle. This is all genuine. I can show you bank statements and proof if you need me to. But I just wanted to show you that anyone and everyone can do this as long as you put your mind to it. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I don't work in finance. I have no connections to finance in any way, shape or form. Over the next few videos, I'm going to be sharing with you tips that have worked for me. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing that you have to work on before you do anything at all is you have to work on your mindset. You have to build yourself and build your mind in a way that helps you to think in a way that allows money to attract to you. So first things first is to find your why. Why do you want to change your finances? What's wrong with it the way it is now? Are you in too much debt? Do you spend more than you can save? Uh, what is your why? Are you trying to increase the funds in your savings account, buy a new car, go on holiday, buy a house? Or are you just simply just trying to grow your emergency fund? Whatever your why is, these steps will apply to you. Now that you've found your why, you need to build your mindset around that why. It's almost like building a house and then having a fence around it. So you don't want anything coming in through that fence. So that fence has to be strong, sturdy and secure. You have to change your views on money. You can't think of yourself as being broke. You can't think of yourself as never being able to afford something. Even though you may not be able to afford it now, don't say it, don't speak those words because those words become part of your belief system and then you can never kind of break out of it. So you really do have to be able to think in a positive way. So rather than saying things like, oh, I'm broke, oh, I just don't have enough money, oh, sit, I'm gonna sit out of this one. Rather than saying things like that, say things like, I always have enough money. Money flows through to me easily and simply. And once you get your head thinking that these things are true, you're onto a good one. We live in a world of social media where we're constantly being thrown things to buy and I take responsibility as well because I know I add to that as well. But you cannot live a YOLO life and that is your only live once life. You can't live like that. Don't always live in the moment. Oh, I just need that bag now. Oh, I just need to get that new hairstyle. Oh, I just need this new makeup. I know it's so frustrating. You wanna buy everything. But the more that you allow yourself to settle into these consumerism ways, your bank account is gonna start here and it's slowly gonna make its way down to here. You have to believe in your goal, believe the fact that you can buy that house, believe in the fact that you are able to purchase this car. You have never driven it, none of your friends own it, none of your family members own it, but you want that car. You can do it and you have to really believe in it. If it means going to the showroom, sitting in the car, going for a test drive, maybe going to a neighborhood or an area that you want to buy, go and look at the houses, go and view them, make it seem real. When I wanted to shop at places like Reese, I knew at the time I wasn't able to purchase clothes from said Reese. But I used to go into the stores, I used to try clothes on, I used to bring clothes with me and style outfits up because that was somewhere that I wanted to be able to be. Essentially, you just have to find ways to believe in your goal because the second that you don't believe in your goal, everything that you're trying to attract to you just goes away. Now, it doesn't just stop with believing, you have to be able to plan. There's a saying that says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. None of us wanna be planning to fail, so you have to put a plan together. And we're gonna talk more about that in the series of these videos. Now, in terms of building up your mindset, you always have to have the end goal in mind. So for example, if your friend says, hey, let's go on this big trip to Miami, and you know that trip is gonna cost you two 2,500 pounds, you have to think, hmm, 2,500 pounds to go to Miami, and then it's a memory or an experience, or 2,500 pounds towards my house or my car or whatever your goal is. So you always have to keep the end in mind. Something that a lot of my friends will tell you is, 
I like to develop a frugal mindset. You don't always have to buy, you don't always have to spend loads, you don't always have to buy the latest thing because those are the things that are gonna keep you down. So always look around, shop for sales, shop for deals, maybe buy during sale season. One of the biggest things is to learn to live below your means. Let's just say you earn 2,000 pounds, try and have all your living expenses and everything that you do at, at least if you can a thousand pounds now i'm going to take you through a series of videos to show you how you can basically get there but that should be the goal try and live at least 50 percent of what you're actually on now in london i know that's really difficult because where are you going to find somewhere to even live for like 500 pounds let alone a thousand for me to be able to live below my means i lived at home i stayed with my mom and dealt with all her nagging and all the quirks and you know disagreements that happen from you know growing up with my parent my mom and don't get me wrong there are times when i contemplated moving out i was just like ah oh, i can't take this anymore i'm just gonna move out i just don't want to be in this house with my mom anymore don't want to be in this house i want to live by myself and i could afford to but then i thought if i move out with the kind of place that i want to live in that's close to get to work i'm probably going to need to spend about a thousand pounds more maybe more a month i think i'm going to put up with the nagging just a little bit more and that is what i mean by having your goal in mind like just being able to think oh my god i really 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 want to do this thing and rather than just thinking yolo i'm just gonna do it just think oh, my goal is to buy a house and that's why i'm here i'm not here to be pally pally with anyone i'm here because i'm trying to buy a house and those are the kind of things that kept me going another thing that you can do is always try and justify the cost if you see a handbag and it's a thousand five hundred pounds and you only earn two thousand pounds why are you looking at the handbag i don't care if you saved for a year i don't care why you don't need it is it going to elevate your life is the bag going to pay you money in the future you don't need it and it's so funny because i again i work as an influencer i help brands to um use social media to get people to buy but at the same time i'm also very conscious of the fact that it is a medium used to make you buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and buy excessive amounts of things that you just don't need so justify the cost so if for example you see a blouse that's 150 pounds okay that's fine i'm not saying that you shouldn't buy it and buy a 10 pound blouse no 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 if you're gonna buy this blouse that's 150 pounds make sure that number one it's made of good quality good material it's gonna last a lifetime and you're not gonna need to buy different variations of it the thing with for example fast fashion is you can buy 25 million white shirts because they all end up fading the material is not great and then you throw it out and then you buy a new one and that is going to keep your account going and that's not what you want trust me another thing i find is okay great you're on track you're starting to save money and you're being really really good and guess what you've got a promotion at work an extra ten thousand pounds to your salary but now you're thinking I can buy that coat I wanted, I can buy those shoes, I can take that whole, no, stop. Maintain your current lifestyle. So if you're only spending 250 pounds a month on clothes, because you have an extra 10,000 pounds a year, don't now start spending 500 pounds on clothes, keep it at the 250 and then the extra money that you have got, put it away. Add it to your savings. These are the tips that's gonna help you. I know we live in a generation where we wanna increase our life, we wanna make it better, we wanna, you know, feel good about the work that we're doing. Trust me, I had friends that were traveling all around the world, buying all these handbags, lived in gorgeous apartments, and I was here eating rice and stew under my mother's roof, not taking any holidays, not buying lavish clothes, not doing anything but yet someone who earned let's say 10 times less than some of these people has able to buy a house open a salon go on multiple holidays 
and other things that I'm working in the pipeline that I'll tell you about soon. So trust me, when I say maintain your lifestyle, it's the biggest thing that's gonna get you to where you want to be. And you literally have to close your eyes to everything. Close your eyes to the sales, close your eyes to the expensive and lavish holidays for only a small period of time and then you'll be good to go. Now this is a tip that I really had to learn and that was spending money before it had arrived. I remember when I was a student, I used to earn, let's say 600 pounds a month, 150 pounds a week and I would be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get this top that I want, I'm gonna get this jumper, I want those shoes. And then by the time the money is coming to my account, I'm not thinking about savings, I'm not thinking about planning, I'm just thinking about all these things that I wanna buy, and before the money's even hit my account, the pages are open, so as soon as it lands, 12 o'clock, I'm ready to order, bam, 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 and then I'm just on to the next week, like, oh, I've got all these other things I wanna buy. And it was just ridiculous, because you just create an environment of just always wanting things and not thinking for the future. And that's what I want to help you do in these videos, to think about the future and not necessarily think about right here, right now. And let me tell you, money, it is a great master, but it is an excellent server. Trust me. And like I said before, inspire yourself, give yourself goals, go and look at beautiful houses, beautiful cars that you're working towards, and just know that you can get there, and it might take a year, it might take two years, it might take five years, but you have to keep that goal in mind and just know that you will get there. I went to property events when I was still in university. I didn't have a single penny of savings. My bank account was minus 1,500 pounds in overdraft but I was going to property events. I knew I was in no position. Even if they said, everyone in this room, we're gonna give them a property that's worth 500,000 pounds for 5,000 pounds, I was not even in the position to do that. I just wasn't. But it was good to get myself in the environment amongst people who were looking at opportunities like that just reminding myself of the goal that I'm trying to achieve. And these are the things that you have to do constantly. I hope you found those tips helpful. Now, what I'm going to do is I've actually started a newsletter. So this is where I can pump out tips to you guys every now and again, just kind of motivate you, keep to your goal and that sort of thing. If you click the link down below, I can send you emails about some tips, about some strategies to keep your money in check. We have so many more topics that we're going to cover, such as assessing your financial life, how to get out of debt, putting together a savings plan, and how you're gonna use your credit card to hack your credit score. 